Uh, you might think this 1986 D half dollar is just another piece of pocket change, but it's actually worth a lot more than you might expect. The key factors here are its preservation and striking quality. This particular uncirculated gem was struck at the Denver branch of the U.S. Mint, which had a massive mintage that year. While finding nice circulated specimens or lower uncirculated examples isn't too challenging, anything graded above MS67 is considered scarce. This stunning specimen was graded an impressive MS67+, plus, and it sold for a whopping $264 at Heritage Auctions. So keep an eye out for those hidden treasures in your change. Check out this 1976D Bicentennial Washington Quarter, which recently sold for over $300 at Heritage Auctions in 2024. You might think its high value comes from silver content, but this Denver issue is actually a copper nickel sandwich. Its worth comes from its exceptional eye appeal, preservation, and overall condition. This gem, previously part of the renowned Stephenville collection, was graded MS67+. Plus. By PCGS. Bicentennial quarters were only minted in 1975 and 1976, adding to their collectability. The MS67 Plus grade places this quarter among the finest known examples, making it a prized addition to any collection. High-grade specimens like this are scarce and command a premium in the market due to their superior quality and historical significance. Keep your eyes peeled for these hidden gems. This undated S-Mint Kennedy Half Dollar graded PR67 Cameo. The lack of a date adds intrigue, while the S-Mint mark indicates San Francisco's high-quality proof production. The double strike error, particularly rare in proof coins, resulted in a unique, visually captivating appearance with overlapping design elements. Its high grade ensures it retains brilliant, well-defined contrast, making it a prized collector's item. Such errors occur when a coin isn't properly ejected after the first strike and is struck again off-center. Misalignment of the coin between strikes also contributes to this type of error. These minting anomalies provide insight into the complex coin production process and the occasional imperfections that arise. The 1962 1C Lincoln cent struck on a dime planchette is a fascinating mint error. Normally, a Lincoln cent is struck on a copper-based planchette weighing 3.11 grams, but this error coin was mistakenly struck on a smaller, lighter dime planchette, which is composed of a copper nickel clad and weighs 2.5 grams. This mismatch resulted in a coin that displays Lincoln cent designs on a thinner, dime-sized planchette, creating a unique and intriguing appearance. Graded MS63 by NGC, this error coin exhibits the characteristics of a mint state coin with strong details and some minor imperfections. Such errors are rare and highly prized by collectors because they offer a glimpse into the complexities and occasional mishaps of the minting process. This particular error coin sold for $4,800 at auction, reflecting its rarity and the demand for unusual minting errors among numismatists. Unbelievable. This beautifully toned and uncirculated 1910S Lincoln scent fetched over $73,000 at a great collections auction. While a mintage of 6 million cents was typical for San Francisco in the early 1910s, it's relatively small compared to the entire series. Though worn examples are fairly common, higher circulated grades are somewhat scarce. However, mint state pieces are surprisingly abundant thanks to a hoard distributed in the 1980s. This cash yielded many choice and gem fully red pieces as revealed by the census data. The exceptional quality and eye appeal of this coin make it a true treasure for collectors. Coin collecting saw a boom in the mid-1930s, prompting the Philadelphia Mint to resume the sale of proof coins in the spring of 1936. Previously plagued by textured and uneven fields in the newer coin types introduced since 1909, the mint abandoned matte proofs in favor of a semi-brilliant finish. However, the first pieces sold were not as fully brilliant as the Indian scent proofs, and collectors expressed their dissatisfaction. As a result, most 1936 proof scents were subsequently struck from dyes that were more aggressively polished. Interestingly, the early 1936 proofs, known as Type 1, actually possess greater detail because the gentler polishing of the dyes did not efface the shallower features of the design. These satiny or semi-brilliant proofs are scarcer than the later brilliant issues, but are not as popular among collectors. Fully red gems are particularly rare.
One notable example, a 1936 Type 1 satin finish Lincoln scent graded PR65 red by PCGS was sold for $2,400 at Heritage Auctions. This sale highlights the value and rarity of these early proof scents, making them a prized addition to any collection. What a splendid and lustrous Roosevelt dime. This 1950s 10 cent piece, graded MS67 plus with full bands, is a remarkable collector's coin. Struck at the San Francisco Mint, this gem is part of the Roosevelt dime series introduced in 1946 to honor President Franklin D. Roosevelt. The obverse features a profile of Roosevelt designed by John R. Sinnock, while the reverse depicts a torch flanked by an olive branch and an oak branch, symbolizing peace and strength. The MS67 Plus grade indicates an exceptionally high state of preservation, with sharp details and minimal contact marks, showcasing the coin's brilliant surfaces and overall eye appeal. The full bands designation is particularly significant for Roosevelt dimes, referring to the distinct, fully separated horizontal bands on the torch on the coin's reverse. This feature indicates a strong, well-executed strike, adding to the coin's desirability and value. Finding a 1950s Roosevelt dime in such pristine condition with full bands is rare, making it highly sought after by collectors. Its exceptional grade and strike quality contribute to its status as a standout example within the series, reflecting both the artistry of its design and the precision of its minting. This dime is not just a piece of pocket change, but a true gem for any numismatic collection. Among the three steel scent issues, the San Francisco Mint Edition is slightly scarcer than the others, but it's certainly not rare. Collectors should be meticulous when selecting a coin, as steel scents had unique striking issues. One common problem area is the final numeral of the date, often weak or filled in altogether. According to the NGC price guide, as of June 2024, a 1943 wheat penny in circulated condition is worth between $0.05 cents and $2. However, on the open market, pristine uncirculated 1943s pennies can sell for as much as $7,000. This particular specimen is in mint state 68 and CA approved, making it nearly flawless and among the finest known 1943s steel scents. The fields are lightly striated from the dyes and show moderate reflectivity. Although the O in 1 is a bit soft, the design elements are otherwise well-defined. This exceptional coin sold for $3,120 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for joining us as we delved into the fascinating world of these eight rare and valuable U.S. coins. Each coin tells a unique story and represents a piece of numismatic history. From the striking issues of the 1943S steel scent, to the pristine condition of the 1950s Roosevelt dime, these treasures highlight the artistry and precision of coin minting. If you enjoyed learning about these exceptional coins, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment sharing your thoughts, and subscribe to our channel for, for more exciting numismatic discoveries. Happy collecting!